Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. All of the Halloween decorations are out, so I got so excited I wanted to come out and check them out. Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is only three days away, and I am so excited for that. And then also I hear Skipper Canteen has a couple new menu items, so I was able to grab a reservation, and I figured we'd ride some rides, eat some food, and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And take a look at this. This is Halloween. I'm so excited for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And just coming out today and checking out all the Halloween decorations. They're all out. All the pumpkins are here. As I was sitting there looking at all of the pumpkins and decorations, I heard the Omnibus beeping its horn. And I think it's coming out and I, we might be able to ride it. Have an evening ride on the Omnibus down Main Street. I'm up for this. This will be so awesome if we get to ride this down Main Street and check out all the pumpkins. Oh, what a luck. <laughs> Normally you don't see these out like later in the afternoon. It usually is first thing in the morning, but I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna be in luck. I am so excited. They said that we can sit in front with them. So we're gonna be sitting in the front of the Omnibus driving down Main Street. I feel so honored. I feel super honored. I am so excited. We're gonna be riding in the front. Look at this. Watch your head, watch your step. All you right. Around, Thank you. <laughs> very, very cool. Oh, wow. This is too fun. Look at all the buttons here. Let's see if it says dome, step, wiper, start. We got the ignition switch down here. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. This is seriously so cool. And just in time for the Halloween decorations. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Look at the pumpkins up here. I don't think there could have been a better way to start off the day than that right there. It's like all downhill from here. And it was so rare to actually take the Omnibus up during a stage show. Like they didn't take us all the way up because they couldn't get in there. But what a great day. <laughs> I had to make my way back down Main Street because the Omnibus just dropped us off up there. They couldn't even turn the vehicle around because they, you know what I mean, they were doing the stage show and there was too many people. But wow, that was so cool. That was seriously just so amazing. Honestly, looking around, the only thing I don't see yet are the Mickey pumpkins that hang on the lights. But I am so excited. And I still can't eat, like I said, I still can't get over that Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is just three days away. Well, two days away, depending on when you guys are seeing this video. Looks like the Omnibus is going to try to make its way through all these people now. It's so cool seeing this from the outside now. Look, here they come. Clear the way. Let's hear that horn. <laughs> There we go. Bye bye. Hey, how are you? Have a good time. 
Okay, enough of the Omnibus business, but I gotta say, that made me so happy. Like, the littlest things, like taking an Omnibus down Main Street, I mean, it's not even a little thing, it's a big deal. It's a big deal to me. But anyway, that was really awesome. Now, I wanna head on over to Frontierland and Adventureland. I'd love to ride Big Thunder Mountain. And if we're gonna be dining at Skipper Canteen, I'd love to ride the Jungle Cruise because that's the ride that inspired the restaurant. A couple of the things I'm probably most excited for this year for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is the return of the Headless Horseman and then also of course the Boo To You Parade and also being able to hug all my favorite characters in their Halloween costumes dressed up in their spooky best. I'm really crossing my fingers and really hoping that this is going to be a full Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, just like the way it was. I, I'll be so excited. Those are some of my favorite things and probably some of my favorite memories ever coming to Disney World. Holy moly, it says a 65 minute wait for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. 65 minutes, that's a long, long time. I think I might want to download the Genie and see if I can get uh, a lightning lane. Well, I cave in and I bought the Genie Plus. I mean, once I seen 65 minutes, I knew I was like, oh boy, that's gonna be a long wait. And they have uh, passes from 825 to 925, so I can book that if I want to, but I bet if I keep refreshing, I'll find one like within the next 20 minutes. And then also Jingle Cruise, or the Jungle Cruise, is also on here, and that's at a 75 minute wait, so it might come in handy today. And just like that, I just kept refreshing and bada bing, bada boom. I am in the Big Thunder Mountain Lightning Lane within 15 minutes. And here comes our train for the day. Oh, which one is it? I'm fearless. I'm pretty sure you guys know the drill by now. Best remove them. I'm bald! Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at that though. Look at the castle. So beautiful. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, I like this part too. Oh. <laughs> How's it roughing? <laughs> oh, I love it though. As many of times I have rode Big Thunder Mountain, it is still the wildest ride in the wilderness for me. I love it, I get so excited. It really tosses you around, and it's just, it's, 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 it'll never get old. It'll, I will never get sick and tired, or I'll never get like, like not wanting to ride Big Thunder Mountain. Anytime I come to Magic Kingdom, I feel like I gotta do it. All right, now that we got to ride Big Thunder, it's time to make our way in to the uh, Skipper Canteen. Oh, hi, how are ya? <laughs> I'm so excited, world famous jungle cuisine. 
this isn't my first time eating here. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have tried everything on the menu here. Everything from it tastes like chicken because it is chicken, to the pork, to everything. And like I said, I heard that they have some new menu items. I think they have some Dan Dan noodles. Well, I think they're like Skipper Dan 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 noodles. And then also I think they have lamb chops, like ba, ba, ba lamb chops, I think they're called. And I'm excited. I gotta make sure I get to try everything. Here is a little bit of the menu that they have outside. And like I said, this restaurant is based off of the Jungle Cruise and set course for adventure, explore the bold, flavorful cuisine of Asia, South America, and Africa. Immerse, your, immerse, your, immerse yourself in a legacy of the world famous Jungle Cruise. And they have an enchanted orange dream. Dole Whip orange blended with vanilla sauce served and served with an orange candy rim. That sounds amazing. They have a lot of good stuff. Oh, here's the uh, Ah, bah, lamb chops. That's, I might actually get those. And hopefully afterwards, like I said, it would be awesome to go over and be able to ride the Jungle Cruise. I keep saying Jingle Cruise as if it's Christmas, but it's Halloween season. I don't know why I'm getting that mix up, but I'm excited. It's really a fun restaurant and the ride is fun. And to do them both in the same day, it's really something like you kind of got to do it. All right, they just called us, it's time to head in. And I have to vote this as probably my favorite waiting area at any Disney restaurant. This is like the waiting lobby itself. It's so pretty in here and the AC works really good. They used to let you sit out here, but I think they blocked it off and that was such a great view. Kind of sad. That was really awesome to be able to sit out there. We have made it to our table. I went over the menu with you guys a little bit out front, but I do want to point out the two menu items that are new, and I think we're both going to get that. I'm actually meeting up with some friends, and of course, can't forget the Kungaloosh. Here is a look at the menu, and how fancy is it that they actually have a menu with pictures? I feel like that's a next step up, but the newest uh, thing, the newest entrees are the Baja, Baja, Baja Man, you know, the Baja lamb chops, and they look actually phenomenal. I think I'm going to get the lamb chops, and then my friend is going to get the Skipper Dan's Dan Dan noodles, which kind of could be a tongue twister. Skipper, Skipper Dan's Dan Dan noodles. If you guys aren't familiar, there is a special Walt Disney World exclusive beer, and it's called the Kungalution. It has a lot of meaning here at the Skipper Canteen, and you can only get it here at the Skipper Canteen, over at the Nomad Lounge in Animal Kingdom, and then down at the Hangar Bar at Disney Springs. So you gotta go for it, Kungalush. Kungalush. <laughs> So good. On top of the Kungaloosh, I had to get the Enchanted Orange Dream. And it's Dole Whip Orange blended with vanilla sauce served, served with an orange candy rim. So it's basically a milkshake with a Dole Whip. It's a Dole Whip milkshake. It's basically like a citrus swirl milkshake. And they give you a really big straw for it. And that I appreciate. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. I like it. It also reminds me of like a Halloween beverage. You know what I mean? Because of the Halloween decorations. I decided to get the seasonal soup as my appetizer, and it's a carrot ginger soup with crushed peanuts on it. Look at it. It looks fantastic, and I'm excited to try it. Oh, yes, very creamy. Look at that. You got to get a little bit of the peanuts in there. This is the way. I'm actually really excited for this soup with the little crushed peanuts on there. That's good. It looks like our food has come out and my buddy Sean ended up getting the Skipper Dan's Dan Dan noodles. It's so hard, like Skipper Dan's Dan Dan noodles. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, it looks good. Nice portion and some crispy pork on there. And I ended up getting the lamb chops. Look at this. These actually look phenomenal though. Look at that. Nice little char on there. I'm gonna dive in. I have to say the lamb chops look phenomenal. And I've only ever had lamb chops before at probably like an Epcot festival. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to try a fancy lamb chop. And I like how they have like the ba ba like a lamb, you know? I'm not too sure if you cut lamb chops or do you bite them right off the bone but I'm gonna cut off a little piece first. There we go, oh that actually <laughs> fell apart very easily. 
Here we go. I'm excited for these. I'm excited for the lamb chops. Oh, that's good. The Kungaloosh tastes like a nice Christmas beer. It's a spiced excursion ale, but I love it. Like, it's just so good. Now I'm gonna try the Dan Dan noodles. And Sean told me they're a little spicy, so here we go. I got a kick for them. Dan's got a kick. Dan's got a hey, kick. they're delicious, though. They are. When's the kick kick in? A couple more oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I might be good, but they are very good. But I don't feel a kick yet. Maybe after you eat them a couple of times. The lamb chop is actually really good, and the outside has this really, really nice crust to it that I like. I haven't really dived into the sauce yet, but I think I will give it a go. And then also they have, I think it looks like potatoes and onions over here. Like, look at these. I came with the buy one. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna grab one of these potatoes. A whole potato. The potatoes look interesting. Oh, that's good. I feel like I probably like the Dan Dan noodles a little bit more. Sean, are you, which one do you like more? I, well, I'm not a big lamb guy, but I like the noodles. You like the noodles? Yeah. 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 I, I agree with Sean. I did like the Dan Dan noodles a little bit more, but I'm still gonna finish up the lamb. I think some lamington would go very well with this lamb though. And I've given up on the fork. I think I'm just gonna eat it like ribs. I'm gonna eat the lamb like ribs. After taking a couple more bites of it, I just don't think I'm a lamb fan. Like, I think the dish itself tastes good. The char is very good, but I don't like the taste of the meat. I don't like the, like, it, it, it's kind of strange. And like I said, I really haven't had lamb that much. I think I've only ever had it at Epcot before. So, yeah, I don't know. I should have probably just went with Dan Dan. Should have stuck to Dan. Dan Newland. He knows the way. <laughs> well, Skipper Canteen was really, really awesome. Like I said, I wasn't the biggest fan of the lamb chops just because I didn't like the lamb. But I feel like that would be a really good dish if you do like lamb. I preferably probably would have went with the Dan Dan noodles or the chicken. The chicken's good. The Kungaloosh beer is always amazing. The orange drink was great and the soup was phenomenal. Overall, I had a great experience. It's nice to try the new stuff. And now we're going to go explore a little bit around Magic Kingdom. Try to ride the Jingle Cruise. Oh, I mean, Jungle. Jungle. I don't know why I keep saying jingle. Like it's Halloween, not Christmas. Now we've made our way down to the Jungle Cruise. It's just about time for our lightning lane and I'm excited either way. It says the standby is 55 minutes so I'm happy that I ended up getting the Genie Plus for the day. Definitely came in handy. Wow, this is so crazy. It said 55 minutes but I'm pretty sure the lightning lane is a longer line than the standby line. What are the chances of that? Like this is all the lightning lane on this side and the other side there was nobody in line that was for uh, the uh, standby. That is crazy. Well, I guess I take back what I said about Genie Plus being uh, very worth it today, but <laughs> I guess it wasn't. Seriously, if you look over there, it looks like there are 10 people waiting in line. 10 people, here comes four more. So <laughs> it was pointless to get the lightning lane. Absolutely pointless. Even though it does say 55 minutes, they're definitely, they're telling, they're telling fibs here. Looks like we've got Volta Val as our trusty uh, boat of the day. Volta Val. Kind of crazy. All right, my friends, filling all of that available space. You don't want to make it any more lonely than it already is.
Pepper Felix! Yeah, it's also probably his last one. <laughs> Unless he gets to the point. <laughs> yeah, I remember my first day. It was three days ago. Alright. Anywho, my friends are home, but you know what? You know what? It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to scare him off for you. Are you ready for this? You're not ready. Okay. Doing the jungle cruise right after eating at Skipper Canteen was such a great idea. And our skipper was fantastic. I, I love it when the skippers kind of like laugh at themselves. And she was just like that. And she also said jokes I haven't heard before. That's always a plus for me. And I loved it. It's always fun. Now I think we're going to explore a little bit around Magic Kingdom. A little bit more. All right, I think we're gonna make our way over to Fantasyland. Since I bought the Genie Plus service, I really wanted to get one lightning lane in that would be worth it to me for, I mean, we did get to do Big Thunder Mountain, so that does count, but Jungle Cruise was a walk-on, so that was basically a pointless, like, lightning lane. So, see if we can get one more, maybe Winnie the Pooh? I was able to grab a lightning lane from Winnie the Pooh right now. Oh, I think the fireworks are going to start. Uh oh, enchantment's going to start in just 10 minutes. It just looked like another pointless lightning lane. There is nobody in the standby line. Oh, oh I really, I really wasted $15 today, I can tell you that. Like, watch when we get up here to the separation point. There is nobody going to be in the standby line itself. Look at Look at this. Can I just go? Yeah. There's nobody there. I'm not upset though. I'm just happy to be here. And I love Winnie the Pooh. So whether I had to wait like two minutes or probably 20 minutes, I would still be happy either way. Here comes my honey pot. Oh, I get so excited. Like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, it also got a Milky Way in here. Did Mickey's not so scary Halloween party start already? One day in the Hundred Acre Wood, uh, the East Wind traded places with the West Wind, and that stirred things up a bit. The East Wind traded places with the West Wind. You'll never reach that tree. I like how they spell lettuce. Let us. <laughs>
Oh boy, it's actually kind of scary knowing the fact that I'm the only one in this room right now. <laughs> Ooh, they brought that back. Since there's nobody behind me and there's no other cart in here right now, I'm the only one in the Heffa Lumsa Woozle room. And like I said, that could be a little scary. one more ride in and also enchantment is going off right now I can hear the fireworks now I'm just hanging out in a honey pot hanging out in a honey pot during enchantment not too many people can say they've done that but I can say it because I'm doing it right now I'm sure as soon as we walk out of the gift shop we're gonna see tons of fireworks let's see look at that But I don't care. Ooh. We're not gonna stick around and watch the fireworks. We're gonna try to make our way out of Main Street and avoid a little bit of the crowds, but it still might be busy though because the fireworks are going on. Look at how empty it is over here in Tomorrowland. We're about to head into the unknown. Oh boy, I see a lot of people over there. Oh. Into the unknown! <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. Oh boy. We're gonna try to cut through here. I love that this music is playing as we're about to walk into this big crowd of people. Dumb, dumb. Uh oh. If only Kristen from right down Main Street was around. Oh, look, there she is. Gotta go, see you later. <laughs> I'm running out of here. Look at this. I didn't even know you were allowed to watch fireworks back here. Are you okay? This is pretty, this is pretty intense. But it makes sense. I bet you this like alleviates so much room. Wow. Holy moly. I'm kind of interested to see, right now we're on the opposite side. So we're technically backstage. I can't wait to actually show you guys what the firework viewing from here is. Look at this. This isn't that bad of a viewing area. Oh, well that tree kind of ruins it a little bit. Look at, you can actually see the finale happening right behind me. That is pretty nifty. That's the best. Mickey and Minnie are literally on stage right now watching Enchantment. Wow. Look at that. And of course, look at that. See you real soon. See you actually in two days for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And with that, I think we are done here. What an exciting evening at Magic Kingdom. I'm so happy I came out and I got to make a video. Got to see all the Halloween decorations. We got to eat at Skipper Canteen, ride some rides, and 
really just enjoyed the day. I, I really honest just love today so much. I think anytime I close out the park and you get to see the fireworks at the end of the night, kind of you just feel complete, you know? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We still got a couple more. I'm gonna have one more video probably before Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. But if not, that'll be the next video and it's gonna I'm gonna be there opening night. I can't wait. So make sure you guys uh, stick uh, tune in. Make sure you guys uh, keep an eye out for that video because that's gonna be amazing. We're gonna do this special uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween dessert party, which I am so excited to show you. There's gonna be a lot of good things. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.